Your phone is ringing. I don't need to pick it. It's cheeky. How do you know that? That is ringing so. Hello, ladies. Good evening. You ladies missed me, right? I didn't miss you. But maybe Nancy did miss you. I missed you. So, what did I miss at home? How was your outing? Never on time. I wasn't even planning to come today. Really? You were going to break the code of always meeting? I met with your auntie a few days back. Did I tell you? Really? What did she want with you? She's back with her interrogation. As expected. But you covered up everything, right? Trust me, I did. I told her I'm even here for a wedding. And that's why I'm in town. Good one, man. <laughs> that's if the wedding still takes place. What does that mean? Why won't the wedding take place? Well, they're having issues already. You shouldn't be having issues with her. Your auntie is sniffing everything. I know that. We'll settle whatever issues we have. That is what I'm sure of. Good, you should. Guys, I think I'm in love. In love? Haven't you always been in love before now? No, I mean I'm in love again. Like, afresh. Baby, where have you been? I know you've been worried. I'm sorry, Sam. You didn't tell me you'd be going out. I know. It was not something I planned for. It just happened. Some people from the office came to see me and they said we should go out. Okay. You should have called me or sent me a message. I was worried and I had to call Ellen. Who was the one who told me you were on your way home already? I'm sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. Just send me a message next time or call me, please. Yes, Daddy. I will do that next time. You guys went shopping? Yes, they took me shopping. I got some lovely stuff. Really lovely things. He said he likes me a lot. <laughs> How can you like me? He has feelings for me. Me. Good morning, Precious. Good morning, Sonia. Hope you slept well. I did, and you? Same here. Are you okay, Precious? Yes, I'm good. I'm okay. No, you are not. Last night, you refused to go out to the club. I wasn't in the mood. I still don't sound like you. You always want to party. Not yesterday. What happened between you and Benson? Oh, that wasn't anything serious. And it's not the reason why I didn't go to the club yesterday. I wasn't just in the mood. Okay. Benson came over to the house and told me that he has feelings for me. Can you believe that? He likes me. Are you for real? Yes, I am serious here. That's what he told me. And what did you tell him? I told him to leave. What else? Do you like him? You've been kind of avoiding him. I don't like him. And I'm only avoiding him because he knows my brother. That's all. He hasn't told your brother about this, right? No, he hasn't. It's not his business what I do with my life, or is it? Not his business. Exactly. Hello, Cherry. Chaffet, good morning. Good morning, Cherry. How are you? I'm fine, aren't you? I'm not fine. I couldn't get you off my mind since I got home. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious, Cherry. Hope we can talk this morning. No, we can't talk, Jaffet. I'm sorry. Is your husband there? Is he with you? Yes, he's here with me. Why are you calling me this early? I just wanted to say good morning to you and wish you a beautiful day ahead. Thank you so much. Will you be free later today? I want to see you. No, I'm actually busy. We can't see today, Jafet. By busy, you mean all by yourself at home? I work, you know. Sam told me you had to stop work for some time now, as you've been trying to get yourself back together. You two talk a lot. Yes, we do. I need to know how you two met each other. I would have told you all about it if you had agreed that we went out. So you're only going to tell me about it if I go out with you? Yes. Well, that's going to be a long time, Jafet. It's a good day to be alive, dear God. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Ellen. How are you doing? I'm being fine, and you? I'm good, Ellen. What about Cherry? Is she inside the house? Where else will she be? Your friend is inside the room. She's resting. Let me go and meet her. Why don't you, Sam? Thank you, Helen. Who is calling me now? Hello, Nancy. Good morning, mommy. I have been calling you since, but you are not speaking your calls. Why? Mommy, my phone has been on silence. I didn't know you had even kept it. How is Chike doing? He's doing fine as well, mom. Well, I need you to come and see me. We need to talk about something. I hope everything is fine as well. Yes, everything is fine. It's concerning your wedding. Okay, mom. So, when should I be expecting you? When I'm free, I will come around, Mom. Okay, then. Don't let it be long before you come. Yes, Ma. There are so many things we need to do if they want to get married within a month's time. Sonia, Nancy. What are you doing here? I came to see you, Nancy. I don't want to see you. I told you, didn't I? You shouldn't be doing this to me. What am I doing to you? You are backing out on me, Nancy. And we've gone far with this. 
I'm not interested in all of this. You have a date with my auntie Nancy. What date? She told me you two have been talking. I'm just trying to cover up the whole stuff. Why you look for a way to tell her that we've ended things? We haven't ended things, Nancy. I'm so interested in this. You are not. You are my only option here, Nancy. Chike. I shouldn't have said what I said and I'm truly sorry about that. I'm really sorry, okay? But you are the one who can help me. We've gone too far for you to boat out on me, Nancy. Goodbye, Jaffet. <laughs> you are speaking to Jaffet. Good morning, Helen. Good morning. What was that, Jaffet? Yes, it was the one. What are you doing in my house this early? I came to check on you. No, you didn't. You came to gossip. Can't blame me for coming to do that. I need to know where you were. Helen. Did you go out to Jaffet? What are you saying? Do you want to get me into trouble? My husband is in the living room. What if he walks in on what you are saying? Your husband is in the with what he's saying. Why you are here to your lover. He is not my lover. Oh, yes, he is. And we both know it. He is not. You came out with him yesterday. I'm sorry to disturb you, ladies, but what would you love to have for breakfast, love? Baby, I want rice and stew. Fresh stew. Okay, I'll make it for you. I hope Ellie is also going to be interested. I will be leaving for work soon. Don't take food, please. I'll be fast with cooking, don't worry. So you are in house with him, right? Can't we have this conversation another time, please? Yes, everything is okay. Good morning, man. Good morning. I hope I'm safe. This one, you're here this morning. You are not safe. Don't tell me you have got a woman inside the house. No, I don't. Because I know how you can be at times. Well, I don't have any woman inside. I'm also in love, Jeffert. In love with who? With someone I can't have. Just like you can't have the lady you are in love with. Is that what you think? I'm making moves here on how to have her for myself. You better not do that, man. Why not? See, I've gotten to realize that you need to do what you got to do now. Man! Forget about it all. Just leave me to do my thing. So you're here on the lady you can't have or what? I'm here to check on you and maybe also rent out the way I'm feeling. I'll pay you 400,000. 500,000, Chiki. I will not go lower than that. Nas is too much. It's not too much. That's not even up to 10% of the money you are going to have to yourself. This is what I want, and I'll try my best to do a good job. Okay, 500,000. I'll go out to see auntie on a date, and I'll make sure everything goes well. Thank you. And stop being all controlling of him, GK. I am still allowed to do what I like, even when we are married. You can't be seen doing some stuff. We have an agreement, remember? An agreement can still be changed. Nancy, if you are going to do this, you've got to stick to the agreement. Okay, I've heard you. You can leave now. You want me to leave? Yeah. Leave, but do you have something else to tell me? Yes, I do. What's that? I want to take you out on a date, Nancy. A proper date. What is this? It's part of the contract. We need to show that we are in love, so my auntie doesn't suspect it's in Nancy. We have to do everything carefully. So you took your shopping? Yeah, you did. If you check the wardrobe, it's filled with new outfits. Wow. Really? Wow. Cherry, this is a lot of clothes. He was just shopping and shopping. Everything I picked, he paid for it. I need to see him. Why? Because I'm saying you like him. You are not serious. <laughs> see, yesterday was fun for me. I have not had so much fun like that. I can't even remember the last time I went shopping. Yesterday, you went shopping. I know, but I mean, like, apart from yesterday, I can't remember any other day. So what's going to be Nothing is going on, Nelly. It didn't say anything to you. Anything like what? You know what I mean. No, it didn't. We are just friends. Old friends, you know, who are catching up. Seems like something more than if you ask me. No old friend will take you out and shop this much for you. Only it happens if you leave me, Jerry. Well, you didn't say anything to me. How was it? I'm going out on a date with his auntie. Why? She wants to know me more. But you say she's looking for loopholes. You won't give her any more, right? Or she might give her for fun, you know? I won't do that. You agreed to pay me the money. I'm taking 20%. So am I as well. If you two take the whole 40%, what will I be left with? You have the remaining 60%. i am giving you two 5% each. Isn't Ben meant to be here now? Chike. Sonia. Good afternoon. How have you been? I've been doing fine. What about you? I'm good as well. You just forgot about me. How did I do that? You know how you did it. No calls, no chats, nothing. I've been so busy, that is why. Always busy for me, but not for her. What do you mean? When it comes to me, you're always busy, Chiki. 
is not so. It's the truth. You've not even given me a single call to check on me. I am sorry. You're not sorry. You're just saying it. I know, Chiki. I'm not just saying it. I'm actually sorry. But life has been life, you know. What does that mean? It means there are times you want to reach out, but due to one thing or the other, we won't be able to do that. I guess you're right. I'm sorry though, but it's not my fault still, you know. Whose fault? Mine? Not yours, Sonia. You know what? Let me pay for your lunch. I've got money of my own, don't worry. I hope you know how to cook. Yes, ma, I do. You are going to cook for me one of these days. I will happily do it, ma. I cook a lot for my friends. Your friends? How about my son? Just once in a while. Chicken prefers us to order. You're right on that. The food smell is really nice. Wait until you taste it. You will know that it doesn't smell only nice, but only tastes yummy. I learned how to cook from my mom. The food smell is really nice. I also learned from my mom. Really? Yes, ma. She's the one who made me to love cooking. Your mom stays here in Lagos? Yes, she does. It was the house kit of Lagos. I see. Well, that's good. I hope we'll also get along. She's a really friendly and nice woman like you. She received you happily. Just like I received you. Nancy, can you pass the onions, please? Yes, ma. So tell me something about you that you've not told me before now. Good afternoon, brother Sam. Good afternoon, my sister. How are you? I am fine. Adams isn't still back. He's not. I don't think he's even coming back again. I have been trying to reach his line, but still not reachable. Same here. But hope he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's just enjoying home, according to what he told me. Enjoying home? I'll call him again and see if his number will connect. Okay. Where are you headed to? To come see you. Are you sure about that? Hope this isn't one of those visits where you come and spend two minutes and say you're leaving now. It's not one of those. I even went to the house. I didn't find Cherry. You went to the house? Yeah, I did. As Cherry resumed back to work. I know you have money of your own, but let me pay. Don't worry, Chiki. Do you know what hurts me the most? What? The fact that you forgot about me and you are now all over Nancy. I'm not all over her. Don't tell me you are jealous. Do I look jealous? No, you don't. But remember, I had to come to you first for this offer. Chiki, let's not talk about this, please. I'm leaving now. What about your food? I've lost appetite for it. You can have it. What's the meaning of this, Sonia? I saw Sonia leaving. I ran into her here and she dropped her food and I left. Why? I don't know why. She was just talking about how I had forgotten about her. And then she was hot on me. Stuffs and all. I'll eat her food. Hope she hasn't eaten it yet. you eat it? Yes, I'll eat it all. Do you want to eat it instead? Why didn't you come on time? You should have been here since all of this will have happened. I'm sure of it. How is it my fault all that happened here? So you both grew up together? Yes, we did. And he was a great guy and always nice. Yeah, I know. I bet that was one of the qualities you admired in him when you decided to marry him. Not totally false. But I never expected you to marry a school dropout like him. Why not? You've always had class, Cherry. You've always wanted something more. Are you even happy with him? You're asking me that question. I know I'm crossing the line, I'm sorry. Good. How did you two meet? I just told you how I got to know Sam. So tell me yours. We met shortly after he did what he did. So he was my replacement? Not a replacement. He was the man who made me believe in love again. Get ready to enjoy your meal. I will have to come and take some cooking lessons now. I am always going to keep my door open for you. Thank you, ma'am. I hope you plan on cooking for your husband once you get married. We talked about it and we decided to have a chef. A chef? Yes, ma'am. But I'll cook once in a while. A chef would help us a lot, ma'am. I don't see it as a bad idea, but I thought you said you love to cook. Yes, ma'am, I do. Then cook. Don't bring in a chef who will come and take your husband's attention from you. Haven't you heard of stories? Love medicines and food. Yeah, stuff like that. We have a lot of desperate women out there who are looking for hot spans and they will do everything to get your man from you. Thank you, Ma, for the advice. One of the ways to the heart of a man is true food. Give your man good food and watch him love you more and more. Thank you, Ma. Now let's eat this food before it gets cold. I want you to savor and enjoy each taste. She hasn't resumed work. No, I went home and she wasn't there, Sam. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I went home. I even took the extra key at where you guys normally keep it and no one was at home. What? Yeah. Didn't tell me she would be stepping out. 
She probably took a stroll or went to the market. It doesn't sound like her. Something is not right. I don't understand. She is always at home, precious. Where are you going, brother? I need to go home and make sure she is fine. You know her health. She is fine. Call her instead if you are so worried about her. That's true. She isn't taking her calls. I am sure she is fine. She is probably at the market buying some things. That doesn't sound like her. It's unlikely. Brother, please stop all this. Your wife is fine. You are overreacting, believe me. And it's like you don't want her to go out. She always tells me of her movements. That doesn't mean if she doesn't tell you about today's one, she's now missing. Can you go back home to check on her? I will in the next one hour. She should be back home from her stroll or outing. You have a customer. You're welcome, sir. Oh, damn it. So, so annoying. Precious. Precious. She's not even at home. She's also out with Benson, right? She's out there enjoying herself while I'm here. And there is Nancy. She's about to get married to the man I'm meant to be with. All of them have got something and someone except me. I am the only one who is left out. No one even said they love me or have got feelings for me. It's always precious. Precious. Oh, Nancy. Nancy took my man away from me. I should be the one Chiki should be marrying, not her. Ah! Please don't bring your phone out. Why not? Because we both know you want to tell me you are going home. I will soon go home. Why the rush? It's not like Sam is at home. I shouldn't even be here with you, Jafet, after what you did to me. That's true, but I have apologized to you. An apology doesn't mean anything to me. I know I cheated on you, Cherry, and I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. You lied to me, and you used me. I didn't use you. That lady just kept disturbing me, and I fell into her trap. Let's talk on something else. All that is in the past. Not for me, Cherry. Do you know I have not loved anyone like I love you? Those lies won't work. It's the truth. I'm not saying this because of anything, but because it's the truth. I'm married. Married to a man you don't love, or do you love him? You think I don't love him? I know you don't love him. You married him because he was available. You are not serious. It's the truth, Cherry. Do not deny it. You don't love him. Sam isn't your kind of man. I love him, Jaffet. You don't? What do you think of this jewelry? It's lovely. Do you love it? Yes, I do. Don't tell me you want to get it for me. I do. Where's the attendant? Thank you. So, how was it? Everything went really well. Your auntie is nothing like you. Really? What am I like then? You are just annoying Chiki. We talked about a lot of things and it was fun. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah. So, what do you see we go out tonight? Where are we going? Where do you want to go to? Tell me and I'll take you there. I want to go to Dubai. We can go there for our honeymoon if you're actually interested. <laughs> honeymoon, really? Yeah, we can go there for our honeymoon. I'm not serious. Are you? Cherry. Jaffet, you won't even let me breathe. You just took a break now, didn't you? Yes, I did. I just wanted to check on you, make sure you're fine. You've not even left me up to 10 minutes. Feels like I've left you for a whole year to me. You are kidding, I know. I'm not. I'm very serious here, I miss you. Don't say stuff like that to me. But I actually miss you. Jaffet. Can we see tomorrow, please? No, we can't. Why not? Aren't you meant to come for a checkup tomorrow? You should know about all my appointments. Is that it? I do. I told you that I'm following up on your health, didn't I? Yes, you did. Well, that's true. I'm following up on it, just like I've been all caring and concerned about you since we met each other. Thank you. So what do you say tomorrow? No, no. And please, don't come to the hospital, please. You don't want me to come and save lives. Can we talk about the week another time? Okay, that's fine with me. Okay. We need to do certain things together, Nancy, so as to set the plan well. What are we going to do again? We are going to have to go and choose an apartment. Can't you do that by yourself? No, I don't want to do that alone. Let's do it together. Chike. I want us to have an apartment where you'll be comfortable and I'll be comfortable as well. A two-bedroom apartment. What about our rooms? How about a single apartment? We both can stay in the same room. We are married, remember? No, no, a fake marriage, remember? You added the word marriage to it, which means we are getting married either way. Marriage is marriage, be it fake or real. 